When it comes to Canadian real estate, a lot of people say things like, you know, it doesn't cash flow, it's overvalued, it makes no sense, it's a bubble, et cetera, et cetera. So in this video, I'm gonna go over the real reason why people actually choose to invest in Canada. I'm Nat Asia Kelly. I talk about Canadian real estate and my local market of Abbotsford and the Fraser Valley. And if you're into that, subscribe to the channel, like this video. If you want early access to the hottest pre-sale deals, click the link down below, enter your information and we'll get that off to you. So here's the reality behind investing in Canada. Now this video isn't going to apply to all of Canada because every market is different, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to blanket the entire country. When you buy real estate in the United States, you are doing it because you believe in the country. You believe that their economy is going to continue to grow. The country is going to get better. They're going to continue to be an economic powerhouse. They're going to continue to house the biggest companies in the world, Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, etc. And that is why you're buying dirt there because that dirt should become more valuable as the country continues to become more valuable. Now, this should be the exact same rationale for Canada. Unfortunately, I don't believe that it is. At least that's not how I see it, and that's not how a lot of investors that I talk to would see it. I don't know if you guys know this, but Canada once again added, or had 400,000 immigrants come into the country from January 2024 to the end of April. And I don't even think we're on pace to build like 200,000 homes this year. So the way, just because of things like that, that I view investing in Canada is, you know, basically there is no way the government is going to be able to fix the mess that they've created. It's almost the complete opposite as investing in the US. There you're betting on the country's ability to do well. Here you're betting on the government's continued incompetency. People can be as bearish as they want, bubble, price is going down, they can talk about the doomsday scenario all that they want, but when you have 1.2 million people coming into the country every year and we're not even building 200,000 homes or somewhere around 200,000 homes, that is going to be a massive problem somewhere down the line. You're gonna have soaring prices and rents and I think unfortunately for where we're at right now, the damage has already been done and now we're just waiting a couple of years for that damage to actually materialize. And I get it, right? Our bigger metropolitan cities within Canada don't cash flow. They're all negative cash flow and that's like a staple criteria that every single investor wants to see when they buy investment real estate. However, supply and demand is what makes homes actually appreciate. And the appreciation is what actually makes investors wealthy, not the positive $200 per month cash flow. So why do investors continue to buy real estate in Canada, despite the fact that price to income ratios don't make sense, it doesn't cash flow positive, by every fundamental metric, Canada looks like a bad investment. It's because the supply and demand balance is so off that there's no way prices won't be higher three to five years from now, unless something were to drastically, drastically change. So sure, you could buy a home here and be negative cash flow, five, six, even $1,000 a month. Uh, but history would tell you that at some point in the next five years, there's going to be a rabid bull market where home prices go up 15 to 20% in one year, which has typically happened every time, you know, every four year cycle at the end of that four years, we have, you know, a super parabolic bullish bull market. So that's just my two cents. The housing market is broken and investors realize that the housing market is broken and it's breaking in an upward direction. And I can see the comments already. Some people are going to call this predatory that investors are like preying on a broken system and all this crap. We need rental supply too, right? Like rents are going up because there's not enough rental supply, which is something investors are helping to create. Anyways, that's my two cents. You can agree, you can disagree. Either way, thank you for watching this far. Subscribe to the channel, like this video. I'm that Agent Kelly. I'm making moves to move you. Peace.